Charlie, cheer! Bring it on down! Charles! Charles, catch! Come on! That Ew. was a little sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. That's the most expensive package I think I've thrown at you. Yeah, it is. Or thrown in the studio. Guys, welcome, another up? Tech Tuesday. We got something that we've been looking forward to for a while now. We got a new camera. We're excited. Uh, these are our favorite type of unboxing videos. Anytime we get a rip open a new camera, test the new technology, I mean, that's like the dream, right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's, Let's rip, it rip it open. this thing open. I had scissors prepared and everything. Well, sometimes you did a good cutting job. Well, sometimes they like really like tape it up. You know? Go, just rip it. Get excited. Yeah. What do we got? Don't throw that one. Hey! Oh yeah. The all new V Raptor X from Red. Guys, holy crap. We got it, dude. We got it. We got a cinema body. Um, this is something we've been looking forward to at Happy Rabbit for a minute, so. We're gonna freaking rip this open. And then we're gonna talk about what it is. What we got and what it is. Here's another. Sexy case. Ooh, ooh, I love that. Yeah. Um, dude, their packaging is so it's sick. Pretty nice. Do you want to open this? Open this. Oh. Is it like a shoebox? Oh. There you go. Guys, what is that? A cool little card. Probably your. There it is. Oh. So as you can see, pretty nice packaging little red sticker. You get your uh, power adapter for house power inside there. And then you also got, what is this? Oh, your um, different plug adapters. Oh, for uh, different European countries. Or and... American, different countries. And then you have the AC, AC plug. You have an antenna for the Wi-Fi. They also give you this little stubby, which is super nice. And yeah, that's it. Do you want to just pull it all out? I was like, yeah, we'll pull out all the goodies. Nice little antenna. Red stickers are our favorite stickers. The red V Raptor. Okay, so Scooter, why is it that we purchased this camera? Guys, red is the latest and greatest. This is a full frame, 8K, full dynamic range, global shutter. This is the new greatest, latest and greatest camera on the market. Yeah, I mean, when we're talking 8K, we're talking 8K with a global shutter at 120 frames per second. And so they're not messing around. And this is the only and the first full frame global shutter camera on the market. And when we saw that, we were like, nah, we need, a, we need that camera. Yeah, um, it, before we go into the details, it's important to note that you can use all the stuff from the original V-Raptor on the X. So if you're looking at, if you already have the V-Raptor and you're like, oh, I invested so much, they actually have an upgrade program where you can upgrade the sensor and actually get this camera. But if you have some accessories as well, or you find some used stuff on the market, they all work together. Let's quickly talk about the upgrade. How much is it to upgrade? If you have a current v V-Raptor or a V-Raptor XL, what is the upgrade looking like? I think right now it's coming in at about 12,000, but Jared has said in the past they have lost money every time they've done the upgrades, which that's honestly a cool thing about Red is they're willing to lose money to make sure their customers are happy to keep you up with the latest and greatest so you don't feel like you're buying something and then getting teched out in a year or two. Cool. So, should we talk about some of the things that are different from this body versus the other bodies? Yeah, let's yeah let's dive into it. Cool. So right off the bat, you guys, let's look at this. Um, we have some new markings that are on the camera, and we have the X marking to denote that it is the global shutter V Raptor, and then going around the outside, we have uh, new internals on the inside. So like we have this new sensor um, on the inside brand new global shutter sensor on the inside. And then we also have new audio um, inputs and preamps. And so we're getting better and cleaner audio versus what we had before. Yeah. All right, Charles, let's talk about the shutter. I think that's what everyone's talking about. That's the new yeah. latest and greatest. Yeah, I mean, it's a global shutter. And if you don't know what a global shutter is, cameras that don't have a global shutter will get the, the rolling shutter effect is what it's called. And when you whip pan, 
with the camera, you'll see everything kind of leans to one side as you whip or the other side. And so what a global shutter does is it mimics what a real film camera does. And in the sense of when you do fast whips, you don't see that jello. And like I would say a lot of like your cheaper cameras have like more rolling shutter or jello effect. Yeah, I'm excited to use this on like action sports and like in really fast moving, maybe exactly. car chases and things like that. Yeah. I think it'll be a lot less disorienting, disorienting to the viewer. And it'll be really cool to see what this sensor does for the market. Yeah, and a lot of people like, don't be confused. Like when you get into the higher end cameras like our Alexa LFs or Sony Venices, like they still have a little bit of rolling shutter in them, but their sensor readout is so fast that it's good enough that you don't see it. And that's why it really hasn't been an issue with those cameras. But if you're nitpicking, it is there, regardless of what people wanna say. That's why global shutter is a thing. And if you're shooting at a higher frame rate, some of those details you can easily pick out. So if you're someone who likes to shoot in that 120, now you're getting that with 8K, and then the new shutter, like it's kind of the perfect mix if you're like shooting cinema films or a one-man band. Yeah, so let's talk about Dynamic range. Scoots, what's the dynamic range that Red is claiming with this camera? So they claim 17 stops of dynamic range, and that's a lot. It's a lot. That's a lot. So yeah. we're really gonna put this camera to the test, guys. We have a bunch of ideas of how we're gonna push that and some examples. So we have a lot of cool videos coming out with this camera. Uh, obviously, we just got it today. It just came out this week. Um, but you're gonna see a lot of stuff and possibly some feature films this year with this camera. Yeah, we're gonna spend so. the next couple days shooting footage and creating environments so that you guys can see what the camera is actually capable of. Yep. Uh, so also with that dynamic range, what is the new feature that has come out with this sensor that helps the dynamic range? Uh, that is the highlight, is it the highlight roll off? Highlight roll off. Okay, I was like, I wanna make sure I had that. But the new highlight roll off is a feature that you can actually turn on and off and it helps with your highlights. So it kind of blends that harsh light as it's rolling off of a subject, essentially. Yeah. It, it, it's kind of like uh, Blackmagic's uh, B-Raw where you can do highlight recovery. Yep. I feel like it's similar technology. Um, and then Red is also claiming that you can do it in camera or you can do it in post. Which, which confuses me it's, a little bit. It's weird yeah. because they're saying that it doubles your data rates, it limits your frame rate, and also some of the aspect ratios and things that you're allowed to film at when you do that. Which, but I don't understand how you can do that in post if you've already recorded the footage. So that's something that we're gonna come at you with a future video to try to help understand that because it's a little bit confusing right now to me. Yeah, we're gonna dive into it, wrap our brains around this. And as obviously new technology comes out, more questions come into the market. Internally, what else do we get? So with the SDI, it is 12G SDI. Mm -hmm. And then we're also getting this rad new feature that they incorporated into it, which is called Phantom Track. And the Phantom Track is something I feel like a lot of virtual productions are gonna use if you're shooting on like LED walls, kind of a thing. If, is... you, if you guys aren't familiar with stuff like Star Wars and the new technology coming out shooting on these LED walls, this is a game changer. Yeah. Something like this is awesome because when you're shooting on a green screen and then, uh, or say an LED wall and you have the flicker and then you wanna light your subject, to be able to simultaneously record the two is freaking rad. It's pretty rad. So it allows you to output one SDI can go to your green screen track that flashes on the screen and then the other track can then go to like what you're actually recording and so you can have two mixes going at the same time. And, and which... we shot quite a few things on those virtual <clears throat> walls and using Unreal Engine with all the new technology coming out. Compared to other cameras this body naked as it sits right now weighs four pounds. Uh, you have the Alexa Mini LF coming in at at five pounds, the 3.5 I think weighs six pounds, the Sony Venice 2 weighs in at like seven and a half pounds. And so. you know this because you're carrying these cameras on set and you have to weigh your Trinity and you almost have this calculation in your head. Oh, I know exactly how much every camera weighs because that's how I have to balance and counterbalance the Trinity to be able to accommodate those cameras. If you have a DSMC2 body, you can actually use the EVF from that camera onto the new DSMC3 bodies um, it would just recognize the old EVF. So if you're not looking to upgrade all your accessories and maybe you just want to upgrade the camera, they do allow you to do that. Yeah, and the reason is because they did come out with this camera, a new EVF that's smaller, it's lighter, 
um, and it works with this camera. It has a couple buttons on the side. We're gonna it's we're gonna better. snag it. We're like ah. So but. look forward to that in some coming videos as well. So what is the difference, Scooter? Because they do offer the XL version. What would be the benefits or negatives to owning like let's say the XL? Yeah, we looked into that. We're like, should we get the XL or should we get the X? What's the most beneficial to what we shoot? And what have we seen on the market? And I'd say the biggest thing between the X and the XL is the size. Um, I could think that kind of goes without saying, but the XL <laughs> is a little too big for most case scenarios. When you're shooting feature films, uh, run and gun stuff to your Trinity operating, um, we actually can't fit the XL into the Trinity ring. It um, fits. But what, so this is one of my issues that I do have with red, and I'm going to call them out here, okay? Is this red power adapter that's right here? Um, it's standard on this camera, and it's been standard on all the other DSMC bodies, DSMC yeah. two, and one, like all those. It's yeah. the standard one. But when they came out with the XL, they came out with their own magical power adapter that nobody makes except for red. And so I don't have a way to power from my Trinity that XL camera unless I slap a battery on the back. Well, the camera is already big and it's already heavy. I don't want to have to slap a battery on the back of it to power it. So red, if y'all want to get, if you can like standardize your power cables and then also make them more readily available for us to like adapt to other systems, I would love it. Yeah, I think it's going to make it, a, I mean, it's already an industry standard camera, but for operators and um, maybe gimbal style cam, yeah. like, that it will be more of a camera that you would go to and there wouldn't be things that's kind of pushing you away. Yeah. Um, I would say with the X, we have found that it obviously is a smaller body size compared to most bodies. Uh, we found that it's easier to stash into places if you need to break it down and almost use it like a crash cam. It's getting up there. I know that's why they made the Komodo X and I would definitely recommend the Komodo X as your crash cam, but it's still in that smaller body style. It is like, and some of the other things that you're getting with the bigger uh, XL model is built-in ND filters, which we do not have. That's what this is right here. And then you're also getting more breakouts. Uh, that's like DTAP, two pin limos, more SDI uh, ports. You don't have to get a breakout for run stop control. Um, I think if you're in a studio setting, that's a no brainer. Totally I mean, it makes sense if it's living on a dolly or it's living on some sticks or something, that makes perfect sense. 100%. And I that think, might be something that we look at getting in the future. Yeah. I think for um, us, where we're at in our company and what we're doing and how much movement we have with camera, the X made more sense. 100%. Um, I will say, though, the thing that just crushed me, and I wish they would have found a way to put the internal ND into the X, I would have paid more if it had the internal ND into it. I understand that's something that the upgrade to the XL gets you, but anytime you put anything in front of lenses from bodies, and I feel like you're weakening that contact point a little bit, scares me. But RED does do a great job as far as the accessories that attach it to the camera to like bolt it on there. But yeah. as an AC, it kind of scares me. That's another thing that I don't super love is that for whatever the reason, RED has a relationship with Canon, and so we get an RF mount on the front of this, which yeah. for me, I rather I would rather it be something like a Z cam or a kind of kind of affinity where you can like take off this front and put on a PL mount or an E mount or whatever it is, like Mostly PL mount. Like, yeah, I mean, we're guys. talking to many. This is D a cinema camera. Like, it needs to have a PL mount. I mean, we know many DPs all over the world that are shooting with a V Raptor and now going to be the V Raptor X and XL. That that's a common issue that we're all kind of running into. This is another one. Sorry, these are my three gripes with red. Call call it out. I mean, that's our honest Freaking thing. Freaking V mount, the, dude. Say when you're spending this much money on a camera and you're stuck with a V mount option, it does make me a little nervous. And coming from an AC world you have plastic contact points on a v-mount and yes i mean yes they claim and i guess these are these metal They're, this is yeah but the biggest thing with a v-mount battery guys is your contact points are plastic on the battery itself plastic expands and contracts so your biggest thing there when you're in temperature and climate changes which in utah we go from desert weather 110 degrees to winter weather at sometimes negative degrees in night shoots and for me, a V-mount battery is a lot less reliable than a gold mount where you're all metal contacts. Those are not expanding and contracting. And every time it's a clean on and off. Where a V-mount battery, you do have those problems when you're in the middle of snow, it's negative degrees and you're trying to pop that thing off. 
So we will be using a V-mount to gold mount um, plate on there. And I do want to point out with our Tech Tuesdays, guys, obviously we purchased this camera for ourselves. We're going to be filming with it, but we're going to give you honest reviews. We're never coming into these videos. Even if a company were to sponsor or support a video, it's going to be an honest review. And 100%. we're going to, we're loyal to the viewers because we come from that world of watching videos and buying products from videos. So that is something that we can say we're very honest about. Now let's talk about one other cool thing that's on this side of the camera. What do we have right here? Uh, that is your media port. And I love red for this exact reason. Anytime you have a switch on a camera, not a button, where it's a physical up down, anytime I love that to be able to, where it's not just like a little plastic thing. Uh, they did do that right. It is. And also with that media is that we get non red specific CF Express cards. Yeah, they finally opened the world. The idea of having to buy red media specifically and the amount that those cards cost is not a thing anymore. Yeah. Uh, which is awesome. That's I think like, that's... Makes me super excited. I do wish it was a little, still a little bit cheaper. We're excited to be one of the first people to kind of put this thing out in the field and test it and hopefully answer questions that you may have before you may make this investment because cinema bodies are scary to buy and there's a lot on the market. I do want to note that we did talk to Red and they did say that they are working on not releasing bodies as often. I know that was our biggest concern jumping into a Red because obviously Komodo owners jumping to the Komodo X and as camera bodies get released so frequently sometimes you don't get the opportunity to pay them off or to use them right. as they should. So uh, I do want to note that that was something that Red put out there to their users is they, they heard us talking and they're trying to answer those. That's great. Props to you, Red. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's really important too about Red, and that's something that we really liked. Is Jared is the owner of Red. He started the company. He communicates with the users. He's yes. in the field. Talks to the community. We like talking to the companies. We like talking to the manufacturers. And sometimes you don't get that with maybe some of these other companies. True. We have a few videos coming forward that we're going to be doing that will yes. be coming out over the next few weeks so really look forward to those guys if you have questions if there's things you want to see with this camera maybe uh, there's something that you want shot before you go and buy it let us know we'll go do it yep please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you guys can stay up to date on what we're talking about and also what's coming out as we start posting footage from the new v-raptor x uh, or sorry the v-raptor x, x. <laughs> with a gold reserve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for watching and thanks Red for always supporting filmmakers and thank you Jared for everything you do in the film community. We couldn't thank you guys enough. Yeah, see you in the next one.